Okay, so there is this person in that vegan future. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of her. She is one of the most insane people on earth, especially people with health conditions to go vegan. And people have actually, kids have actually apparently died changing their diet because of the bad vegan teacher. And she's still not stopping what she's doing. Like, I have nothing against vegans. But still, this is not okay for asking people to go vegan. Literally, your videos just want to make me go to McDonald's, get some chicken nuggets, get the BTS meal. Deck mask for me or whatever I want to do. I'm pretty sure that vegan teacher will get a McDonald's meal. As you can see, I do have her Instagram up right under the funny pumpkin stuff. Speaking of, yesterday I woke up with the biggest surprise ever. There was a spider on my ceiling. I'm pretty sure that vegan teacher placed it there. Yeah. Like, I was seriously about to eat that spider. I don't, I'm not even kidding. If I watched one single video of that vegan teacher, I might have actually ate that freaking spider and some even red meat face food. Now, obviously, I'm not vegan, but she's attacking people that she doesn't even know are vegan or if they're not vegan. She's attacking Ben Ramsey, who is a chef, even though at his restaurant, he literally has vegan options. Apparently she has a TikTok that got banned a couple months ago. And she said getting popularity, I think last year and this year, like near the end of last year, that's when she actually said getting the big popularity in the... In the world that we live in, that's when she said getting popularity on the internet, and that's when everybody said making fun of her. Now everybody hates her, I just want to show you something. So she has this song called Plant, Don't Feel Pain. And apparently people keep using remixes to it, so let's do this. Let's do this. Plants don't feel pain remix. See, that has to be the funniest video ever, but this is her Instagram. At least what I think is her Instagram. So she has follow me on Twitter, that vegan teacher, follow me on YouTube, follow me on TikTok. You can't even follow people on YouTube, it's called subscribe on YouTube. And speaking of, this is what you should be doing, but instead of that vegan teacher do you know who you should follow on youtube give me a minute give me a minute give me a minute this is what her instagram should be gone this her instagram should be gone so yeah. Since plants don't feel pain is this thing, 
Keep on saying that she has a YouTube, which I'm gonna look up. That vegan pizza and holy sh she does. Oh my god. So she has songs, so we're gonna I guess listen to this Kenji song. I love how she doesn't use a music video. I love how she puts song at the beginning and then the colon and then a vegan layout is coming soon. It's usually a music video colon. Uh, like music video and then there's a little like to the thing. That's usually what it is, but it's song and it's just a video of her walking. There's no actual like, like it's just a video of her walking and music put over it and a fake B right there like as if anybody's actually gonna eat a B and then I don't know what the f that is like what the hell is that? What the frick is that? What the hell even is that thing? It's basically just her repeating the lyrics. So is there like gonna be a movie called a vegan lyric? Because there's people with health conditions that can't be vegan. And they have to eat meat to survive. And she's saying that they apparently have to become vegan. So she's saying people with health conditions are apparently selfish. And now she's even, she's even freaking, well, she's making Dare Man style videos, like, as you can see, that's Dare Man style text. I'm going to compare it to an actual Dare Man thumbnail. If you don't know who Dare Man is, he's this, um, YouTuber. As you can see, that's an actual Dare Man thumbnail. That's... A that vegan teacher thumbnail. There's similarities. First, we have the text going down the thing. All right, here's a damn man thumbnail. All right, here's a damn man thumbnail. Cops call on Mexican neighbors. And then it says the damn man studios, which is his logo, and then it shows the style of text. Here on this thumbnail, it's showing that exact same style of text and then that vegan teacher's logo at the bottom. She is actually copying Dare Man now. Like, what? Okay, let's watch at Violi Link 13. Stop paying people to hit. Anyway, I don't even know if this is an actual channel, so we're just gonna drop it. Yes, it is an actual channel. And she is actually making good points. That vegan teacher abuses her dog. This is probably the best thing ever. That vegan teacher abuses her dog and she does. That vegan teacher needs to be stopped and she does. She's even disrupting chi children's events. I'm so I'm subscribing. I'm subscribing to Lai Lai Link 13. Lai Lai Link 13, you just got yourself a sub. Anyways, let's watch this. That's my message for you, Lai Lai Link 13. Look at the vegan dog. Ivegan.ca. So let's actually visit that website because no one has actually gone in depth and visit the website she's seen. So Ivegan.ca. 
Oh, yeah. Well, it's not a real website. That's for sure. Unless I just don't know how to, I probably just don't know how to spell this. Right, let's go. Yeah, there's no such thing as an ivegan.ca. Maybe an ivegan.com. So yeah, she didn't even, this is an Italian website, so I don't know. Alright, so ivegan.it, it's ivegan.it, and she's saying ivegan.ca, so that's just stupid, that's just stupid. Love one, but eat the other. That's my message for you, Dolly Make Dolce. Okay, was there a picture of a cat on there? Wait, that's a picture of a cat. We love one but eat the other. That's because cats are pets. This is a chick. A baby chicken. We eat adult chickens, not baby chickens. Eating baby chickens. I don't even care. Okay, yeah, if this was an adult chicken, it would make a lot more sense. Obviously, we love cats. We love cats, but we eat chickens. Oh, how dumb is this girl? Cats are pets. That's why we love them. God made animals to eat. And you're saying we love one but eat the other? God made animals to eat. God made meat to be eaten. Why love one but eat the other? That's my message for you, Dolly and Dorsey. For those of you who don't know, Dolly Lynn Dorsey is one of the new ones on YouTube who pretends that she's vegan. But she's not. Who the fuck does that? Who pretends that they're vegan? But they pay people to murder animals for them. How do you know that she's even pretending to be vegan? I can tell that she... Yes, I get she is making videos on vegan stuff, but she's saying that you need to be stopped. If anything, she's a good vegan. She's not forcing other people to be vegan. Really, watch. Vegans hate that vegan teacher. Even vegans hate you, dude. See, she talks about her asses and stuff like that. This is a good channel. This is a good channel. She's not lying about being vegan. You just think that because she's roasting you because you're the worst freaking. I'm pretty sure ve at vegan teacher isn't even vegan herself. Dolly Lynn Force One does. Also, she does these long videos pretending she's done some research. And in fact, when you look at what she's done, the articles that she is referring to are simply just blog posts, zero science involved. You don't even know what science is, that vegan teacher. You probably don't even know what science is. You think science is, oh, science is like, um, like hurting animals? Yeah. Science is about, like, killing animals, like, like, stabbing animals in the throat. That, that's what science is. That's totally what science really is. That's only a part of science. Most of science isn't even like that. That vegan dummy. Yeah, your name should be that vegan dummy. Only you and I know it's vegan. What part of this do you not understand? Here's another one for you. Why love one, but eat the other? That's the exact same thing as last time with different pictures. I love my dog. Dude, you dumb that vegan teacher. Dogs are pets. They're something we love. Very much, and we pay good money for it. 
This, on the other hand, we also pay good money to eat this. We pay good money to eat pigs. Because they have meat we can eat in them and that it's designed to eat. Dogs don't. Dogs are not designed to eat. Pigs are designed to eat. God made animals to eat. Why are you always so against horses? You say that you love horses, but do you really? I don't have anything against vegans, by the way. Just that vegan teacher and all these animal rights activists forcing people to become vegan. Like, it's just so stupid. Most of your fan base aren't even your fans. They just hate you. Let's check the comments of this video. Let's actually check the comments of this video. Yes. Alright. Yes, exactly. God made animals on this earth so you can have food to eat. Exactly. Dude. This is what I'm trying to say. She was born in 1965. 1965. So she hasn't even been a vegan for a long time. Life goals. Yeah, these these are awful. These are awful. I'm gonna I'm gonna have this life goal thing changed out. I'm just gonna do a little bit of hacking. I did 12 years of hacking and. Yeah, let's just. I don't know what you're talking about. There are no life goals. I actually don't know your life goals. Animal abuse in Kenya. Okay, this is a CTV news thing. Oh no, I didn't want to copy that. Can't go to that. Let's delete that. I actually want to go to some of these websites that she's talking about. Animal abuse in Canada. This doesn't. No videos. Montreal Animal Research Lab. I wanna. I can't show this on camera, so obviously I'm not gonna show it. But this video, okay. Dogs aggressively thrown into cages. It's completely different from eating animals. Okay, she can still eat plant-based food, but feed her dog meat-based, because dogs are supposed to eat meat-based foods. Dogs are designed to eat meat-based foods. They, they can't, yes, they can eat vegan foods, but most vegan foods can actually hurt them, do them a harm, then good. murder horses and give those in a bowl cut up full of blood for your dog rally it's fucked up so call yourself a no it's not it's normal it is normal it is no i don't have anything against vegans i know vegans are mostly good people but this this is just awful this is awful dude no one likes that vegan teacher Really. Vegans, they eat plants to feed the animals. I get that. Most of them do. But some, they just eat plants because they don't really like meat-based foods. They can care less about the animals while still being vegan. Vegan is really seriously messed up. There's another one. Hey, here's what. Here's what. Miss Katie, or whatever the fuck her name is, that vegan teacher thinks she 
thinks that being a vegan means that you defend the animals, that you protect the animals, you defend them, you defend their rights. But that's not true. It just means eating food that's not meat. All it means is that eating vegetables and fruit. That's all it means. And any other type of food that's not meat. You can be vegan without caring about the animals. Why not? Dog, cow, dog, cow, dog, cow, pet, food, pet, food, pet, food, pet, food, pet, food, pet, food. Wait. Yeah, a cow can be pet food. Wait, that makes total sense. Yeah, okay, so yeah, I, I'm just gonna, so since I'm not vegan, I'm gonna go ahead and go eat my dog. So I guess I'll be right back. Just kidding. But the other. Why rally link horses? What is the difference? Here's a dog, here's a cow. What right do you think that you have? The difference is that a dog's a pet and cow is designed to be eaten. To pay somebody to murder this animal and feed it to this one, as opposed to the opposite way around. It's because who would pay to kill a dog? Dogs are pets. They're supposed to love dogs. On the other hand, for cows, Cows are not pets. They're just natural animals that are meant to be eaten. There's no excuse for animal abuse in Rally Link Horse City. This means my five year of vegan There are many excuses. Okay, and animal abuse is something completely different than eating meat. Animal abuse mainly means that you hit animals for the fun of it. Not to survive for the fun of it. You think animal abuse is eating animals to killing animals to survive? It's it means killing animals for the fun of it. Five years. That means that I don't pay people to take a knife and to slit the throat of animals. How the fuck can you say that you are vegan if you pay people to do this? Rally. She pays people to do it for her dog because her dog probably needs to eat meat based foods, and you're probably super stupid that vegan teacher. You say you love horses, but it's how exactly are these animals killed that you say are humanely raised? And what stops you? 99.9% .9 of her videos are about horses, and on the other hand, the other 0.1% are roasting you. Don't do it from killing horses. How are horses more important than any of these animals? I'm oh my god, a dog's a pet. Do oh, that vegan teacher says to me, like, can you please tell that vegan teacher that a dog is a pet and other animals, like. A cow, a horse, and stuff like that. God designed them to be eaten. Like, God didn't design dogs to be eaten. God didn't design cats to be eaten. God designed animals to be eaten. Animal animals. Not pets. These animals don't deserve to die. Neither do these. And neither do these. It's been proven by science that animals, like dogs, can be 100% healthy eating vegan food. My dog- No, it hasn't. I don't know what stuff you're looking up, but no, it hasn't. Most dogs are designed to eat meat. They- Your dog, on the other hand, I know what your dog is. I know what breed of your dog is. It's designed to eat meat and plants. If it eats- one or the other, it's going to die quicker than usual. If it eats both, it's going to die. Its lifespan is extended. But if it only eats plants, then it's going to die quicker. Yes, feeding your dog plants can actually do it in my hands and good. Adela has been vegan for 
how much for you, and she is perfectly fine. No, she is not. Someone actually needs to call the cops on this woman. She is feeding her dog meat-based food. No, no, I mean plant-based foods. When that dog is meant to be eating plants and meat. You two, she's going to go to heaven faster than you. And you're like, I don't know how old you are. Excuse me of being an animal abuser? You're freaking Karen mixed with a boomer. Like, sheesh! Hey, it's a joke, isn't it? How do you sleep at night? Exactly how do you sleep at night? I mean, I literally keep my money in my pockets when I'm around people who have knives near animals. You do the opposite. Who's the animal abuser? You are. Yeah. You're not paying people to hurt animals. You're paying people to give you animals that have already been hurt and killed. Not paying people as they're not like as soon as you pay them, they won't go like, okay, time to go to a pig farm, time to start stabbing in the pigs. Do you know what they will do? They will give you meat-based food that has already probably that they have ki they will give you animals that they have probably killed weeks or even months ago when are you gonna stop not anytime soon are you apparently i'm one of the people that you hate the most in this world you know why because you know that i see you no because she knows that you're abusing your dog bella she knows that you had a hamster and you even abused it. I'm pretty sure that hamster is dead. I don't even know. Like. <sighs> She's hating on you because you're one of the most disgusting people on earth. Just gonna stop. Stop being an animal abuser. And be vegan from now on. How about you stop? being a vegan rights activist and just be a normal vegan from now on. If you actually want to be a vegan, that's okay. I'm okay with that. But if you become vegan because you see that vegan teaches videos, don't make that decision just because you see a couple of scary videos and you go to the website she goes to. So she just keeps this video running without even stopping the recording. And that makes total sense. Imagine if if I were to end the video like, oh, goodbye, guys. I'm going now. Just just look at this beautiful picture of my of a school wall that I don't own. And click one of the videos on screen. You know I could have done this earlier. Your time is actually spent right. Like this. Alright, next, like, all of these videos are stupid. Alright. Let's get to all this. She has been making these types of videos for two years. Don't visit the zoo. Even though that the little... Don't lie to your children. This place hurts animals. Kita. She's a She's a pizza pitter. These things 
makes it even more worse than it was. If you don't know who Peter is, this is Peter. Basically, it's about, oh, like, it's, like, about kicking. It's one of the most hated thing in the world. Everybody hates Peter. Literally, everybody hates Peter. Because not only is Peter saying that you can't visit these places, Peter is making it so that if you do eat animals, he's going to be, like, the owner of Peter is going to be right up to your neck. Like, I'm done. I'm done. Goodbye, guys. This this has actually made me done. I hate this. I hate. I hate that beating teacher.